and good morning everybody silas back again today i think i might have mentioned it in the last video i can't remember for sure but the goal for this week is, is i'm going to load some crushed cars out we haven't loaded any crushed cars in quite a while so i'm a little bit out of room so it'd be nice to get rid of some we actually worked out a deal with that company that i load them inside the box trailers uh, we haven't sold to them since i think march so it's been quite a while so it's good to get back with them again. I really like loading those trailers. You may be thinking this camera angle doesn't look quite the same as normal. That's because I'm on the GoPro. My mic cable broke on my other camera and so I haven't been able to use a microphone on it and it's too windy to use that today without a mic. I brought a mic cable today, but I forgot the little adapter that plugs it into an iPhone, so I can't use it anyway. <laughs> I have been extremely sick for the last two days. I'm still not feeling very good today, but I'm out here by myself and we've got to ship some loads out. I can't take the whole week off. Can't afford to do that. There's work to be done and I think I can manage, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Before we get into loading cars though, I've got a bunch of unused footage of crushing those cars, some of those cars anyway, and I recorded this footage a while back and I just never used it. And so I still have all that footage, so I'll go ahead and play that now. And then after that, we'll get into loading the cars and who knows what else we'll get into today.
Thank you.
and there we go four loads out today i got some crushed i got one more load on the ground they're going to come back tomorrow and pick that up actually i have a bunch of loads on the ground but most of them are all the way out back and uh actually the company out in east out in tennessee went up on price quite a bit so we're really hoping we can get some trucks so i want to keep at least two or three loads for trucks on the ground just in case one of those does come through and shows up. So I'm gonna ship out one more load in the morning. There was that one load I actually forgot to record. <laughs> I got it all loaded and I'm like, oh, I never turned the camera on. So then I turned it on as he was leaving. But the very first load I shipped out weighed 17 tons, I think. And this is rough numbers. And then the next load weighed 21 tons. The next load weighed 24 and a half tons. And then the last load weighed, I think, 18 and a half tons. I actually got a phone call on that third load, the 24 and a half ton load, and I kind of got in trouble on that one because he was extremely overloaded. Not extremely overloaded, but I mean, he was, he was definitely overloaded. And they don't really appreciate getting tickets, and they didn't get a ticket, they didn't get caught, but he said they don't want to risk it. And so really, they don't want him to have, to, uh, have more than I think, it's about about 18 and a half 19 tons is absolute max and really that's even pushing it those big box trailers are just so heavy that i can't put that many cars in them and i've had people in the past say oh if you did this or you did this or this or you could do this and this and this and you could crush the cars flatter or get more in the dumpster or whatever and i would be doing a whole lot more work and i can't put any more cars in the dumpsters anyway because i make them overloaded so really i think about the best bet for me is to have four bundles the two bottom bundles have three cars in each the two top bundles have two cars in each of those and usually i put three medium or small cars on the bottom and two full-size vehicles up on top that's the way i usually do it now it doesn't always work out that way but it's not a exact science especially when you're dealing with somebody that's only an hour away it's not like i have to get it now that 24 and a half ton load the sad part about that is is that was a complete load i didn't take anything off change anything that was a complete load for headed out east that would have been a perfect load because that's exactly what you want when you're going out east is about 24 and a half to 25 tons because that picks, puts the trucks at about uh, 78 79,000 pounds total and that gives them a little bit of room for fuel when you're going that far you want to maximize the weight but we're not going there right now because we can't get trucks so i'm going to try to lighten the loads up a little bit and i'm really going to try to keep them at 18 tons or a little bit under like 17 18 tons is about a perfect load when you're loading one of these trailers so anyway that's pretty good my dad also shipped a load in his load was a prepared steel though a short iron like bolts and nuts and things like that like big bolts and nuts well you guys have seen them on my channel before so we've shipped in quite a bit of material here uh, we haven't been selling much lately as you guys know and so it's it's kind of different switching back uh, gears into a, a different gear and going back over there to the yard and loading over there and people have been calling wanting to sell stuff and I say yeah we'll go ahead and bring it out well they've been coming out here to this place because they're used to me being here but then I'm not here so <laughs> so I've been having to tell people look I'm back at the main yard again I can't say that I missed it but it, it is nice just to change things up. I don't like doing the same thing all the time. But anyway, got a lot of that done. And then Sean and Jason came out and they completely stripped my house. Uh, I think I went in there yesterday during my lunch break. Or no, it was after I left there at the yard. I can't even remember. I was so out of it yesterday. I don't remember when I did what. <laughs> And the crazy part about it is, is yesterday was actually warmer than today, temperature-wise, but it was overcast, rainy, and cloudy, and w super, super windy, and it was miserable out today. It's cooler, but I'm not even wearing a coat because it's so nice out. But anyway, they came out again today, and they took even more stuff out. There are no doors left in that house, no trim work, no windows. Uh, pretty much everything of any value is gone. Those cool glass French doors and that china cabinet, all that's gone. The cabinets are all gone. I mean, there really isn't gonna be much left of that house. So I'm definitely glad to see a lot of the house, as much as possible anyway, has been repurposed. I know there's a lot of lumber in the walls and things like that, but realistically speaking, nobody will ever save that stuff. Everybody says it should be saved and uh, it's very expensive new, but when it comes down to it, 99.9% .9 of people will just go buy the new stuff anyway. Anyway, I've got to check a few things out here, so I'm going to do that, but I want to let y'all go with this. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A little bit of crushing action. Haven't seen that for a while. A little bit of loading action. Haven't seen that in a long time, really. If you did enjoy it, please give me that thumbs up on this video. Drop a comment. Say what your favorite part was. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time. Oh, and I forgot to mention it, but uh, I got a new mic cable, so I'm back on this camera, and I've got my mic hooked back up, so my audio is going good again. We'll see y'all later.